Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the love and support you send me each and every day and you do with your fellow community members it is so greatly appreciated you know you send out love you send kind vibes you send out information or you just basically let them know hey you know i'm going through this too or hey you know i got an opinion about your comment too and it's nothing negative or anything you're just basically letting them know that they're not alone and that is just so greatly appreciated and for that being said much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel uh, comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the pos positive feedback of the video. Or you're telling me about either current events that you might be going through in your current awakening or just about your spiritual gifts that you've been gifted with. <laughs> so as long as it's positive, it's all greatly appreciated. And if you feel like the video has been informative to you or really gave you some true understanding, what are you waiting for? Give me the show the love, give the world out, you know, give it to the world, or give me a thumbs up, like, leave, and share. Hey, it's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. And thank you for stopping by. And the music that I'm listening to, the meditation music I'm listening to today, is called Chakra Power Hour. Ooh. Root Chakra Energizing Music. 256 Hertz Vibrations. I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, your biggest mistakes can be your best blessings. They are. Well, your worst mistakes can be your biggest blessings. And it really can. Because it's just like, you know, going through my awakening, um, I knew I was adopted basically, shoot, since I was little. You know, I always knew. And, you know, I always knew I had a connection with my dad. I dreamt about him, shoot, since I can process dreams, you know, and I never knew about them. And all these, all these, you know, years went by and I knew there was something I was missing and things that I was longing for and just never knew. You know, I always used to argue with my mom saying, you know, I got a twin out there. You know, I was, my mom's like, no, you don't. I got your birth certificate. You know, when you were adopted, there was only one child. I said, you sure? You know, and I'm like, you sure there wasn't no other twin? I don't heard about, you know, I don't watch some YouTube videos about these kids being adopted and come to find out they didn't know they had another twin out there. You know, it's just crazy. So it's just like, you know, going through life and not really knowing what's going on and dealing with my family. I carried around a lot of grief, especially after my, my father passed away because, you know, I knew there was something I was missing. I knew there was something that that I wasn't feeling that was irrelevant that happened around me that could be the key to the situation and it was just like when I found out when I found out about my family knowing I really helped harbor that guilt because I said you know they always invited me to the house when he was over there why didn't I go over there but it was just like they were not people that do surprises for people like me you know because they always used to belittle me or anything that was positive they frowned upon or you know they wouldn't really congratulate me on it if they were it was very low-key you know so when somebody have a big surprise for you that usually mentally and emotionally abuse you sometimes it could be physical back in the day they all of a sudden they got a surprise for you either you better make sure your insurance is paid up people know where you're at and make sure you don't go by yourself. But they wanted to make sure I was by myself. You know, I couldn't tell nobody where I was. You know, I couldn't tell my kids where I was going because they couldn't come over there. So it was like really suspicious to me. So it was just, I felt really bad. And I felt like I really made the biggest mistake of my life. But then look at all the things 
that has happened, I had to look at really all the things that has happened. You know, I, I cried. There are some days that I would cry. You know, I can't look at it now because like that now because I look at it as a blessing. It's a blessing to knowledge. It's a blessing, even though the sad downfall is I never got a chance to experience life with my father or get to experience that life at all. But it was okay because it was just like, Dad, you learned all these things about yourself. You you learned so much. You, you gained confidence in times when you were weak. You found love for yourself when there was, you felt like, you know, I felt like I was unloved. I, I, I'm not lovable. Even though I was around people that made me feel that way, that wasn't because of me. That was something they were dealing with. So, you know, I had to know that for myself. You know, I'm just like, what did I do? What did I do? But it's not you. You know, hurt people hurt people. You know, I was told that. So it, it's just like I went through all the things that I went through. And I'm just like, you know what? My worst mistake of not really getting to know my dad when the chance is when he stepped in my life so many times to be there that I wasn't, you know, I was running and to the point where I couldn't run anymore. So when you're going through your things and, you know, know that things happen for a reason, you know, yeah, you might have uh, made some mistakes in the past. It might have cost you a lot of things. And, you know, I have to Hey, look at my situation. <laughs> my situation is pretty bad, so I know you probably like, I wouldn't want to be in, in that situation. Because it's just, I mean, I can look up the people that got the time to spend with my dad, hear about how people say he was amazing, or just the energy he brought in the room. You know, I wasn't able to feel that. You know, I feel it spiritually all the time. But it was, you know, that was one thing I was always missing was that physical connection that we have not been able to have since I was put placed here on the earth. So, but it has brought me to y'all, you know, my beautiful viewers. It has taught me so much that I can really, it humbles me to actually say, you know what, I'm proud that I make these mistakes. I can't look at my situation as something that, did really I mean even though it did some damage but it turned my life around 360 but not turned it upside down to the way I thought it was but it, it did it didn't it did more good than harm even though I might have been through some things it might still be currently going through some things but it's not as hard to deal with as it was before you know I might have my crying moments but who does it but when you go through things you know that you're going to make mistakes. No, we're going to have setbacks. That's fine. Because you learn from each and every mistake that you have experienced in life. Anything that you have, that you know, that you have been hurt from, you have learned from. Even things that you have brought, got joy from, you have learned from. And then you can write that down in your book and say, you know what, I experienced this, but I overcame it. Or I, have congr I, I can pat myself on the back because I did this on my own. You know, and I mean, it's just a lot of things you have to look at and when you look, when you can look at them as in a positive aspect of your life, instead of looking at it as an eyesore, you can look at it as a positive aspect and you can also look at it as a, as a milestone. So know that when you make your worst mistakes, they can turn out to be your best blessings. So it's just, don't ever go back and say, oh, my cat just he came and scared the mess out of me. Don't ever think that what you go through is by accident or coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. And I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell so you know when, <clears throat> when, when I'm about to upload my next video. I don't know why he keeps on trying to attack my leg. Or he keeps on trying to get my attention on my leg. But yeah, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. I hope you stay blessed and have as much love and light as possible. And know that you are loved and highly favored. And I will see you on my next video. And send out as much love and light as possible. And know that there's somebody always out there paying for your, praying for your better good. <laughs> and I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.